Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go back around here and see what we can do. I think what I'm gonna do actually is go back up while it's still in my memory. Is go back up over here and clear out this place now that I have the appropriate move to get the Jinjo out of here so I do not forget about it. But first, kill you! And Jinjo! That's the exact sound that I made when I pulled a Jinzo out of a Yu Gi Oh pack. <laughs> Alright, that's cleared out. Um. I could actually tackle the boss now. Yeah, why not? <laughs> All the way up here. Whip out Kazooie. Switch to the Ice Eggs with Ye All R button. So we got that move in the last part. And now we can go right over to the Grunty panel. Whoop. Bring it on! And why is she so big? <laughs> That's what you think. Anyway, what you want to do is shoot the red segments of her body. It's very simple. She's only got one sprite of animation. <laughs> and you've also got to dodge those blasts. And I should be being more mindful of my ammunition here. And I can't switch ammunition. I, I was thinking... Oh, ow. I was thinking of switching over to the eggs because I have more of them. I mean, the, uh, you know, regular eggs, just because I have more of them. But I guess you can only hit her with ice eggs. So you gotta freeze her engines. <laughs> and now she's gonna start flying! Maybe I should have taken the top off first then, because I knew that was going to happen, so that was bad planning on my part. <laughs> she tends to shoot where you are going, as opposed to where you are, so she's pretty smart, actually. Uh, wait, maybe not. <laughs> I thought she did. Uh-oh, I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ammo! Must get ammo. Otherwise, I will not be able to destroy her. Uh, no, I guess she doesn't shoot for you. Why do I think... Maybe I'm thinking of another boss. No, oh, whatever. <laughs> Come on. Damn. Yeah. Perspective. Not your friend. Because I can't tell how far away she is from me. I, it's kind of hard to time my shots in. <laughs> Ow. Stop shooting me with your laser eye blasts. Nope. Oh. Shooting each other's shots. Oh, oh, oh. Dang it. This is getting... Kinda of dicey! Oh! This is probably the hardest boss yet. <laughs> Sorry for the lack of commentary, I'm focusing on the boss, and it's like kind of Don Maku in that you don't have very much room to move, and you got a lot of stuff coming at you. Well, not not a lot, not a lot in terms of like Don Maku stuff, but <laughs> And that'll be where the final battle will take place. But what I mean is that there's not many safe spots there. Anyway, now you got a token of what you can use to transform yourself into a critter. And like all levels that I've been doing so far, I will do the transformations last. Uh, just for the sake of organization. So, what can I do from here on out? Well, up here... I can, however, go over to that building that had the uh, um, the opening in the roof, the uh, chimney. Down my commentary. Clearly not there. Over here. <laughs> go up here, inside, and now I can kill off the boom boxes while I remember to do so. Yeah! That's how it's done. And you get a jiggy for your troubles. There's no indication that you will get a Jiggy for doing that, so that might escape your notice, but I guess the, um, the hint is that there's a pad here for you to kill them off. So I guess maybe there is some indication if you interpret it that way. And one last look at the Grunty TV. Let's go. <laughs> That's the only TV in the game that I know of that has her on that. So... At least I think. Oh wait, you, I have to let you latch on to me before I can kill you off. Um, you'll notice that there's a section over here. Like, uh, actually I'm too far ahead, aren't I? 
right here, this section. Uh, there's a Jinjo behind this fence, and if you look over here, there's a little hole that you can get inside with a mouse. So I'm gonna have to go up there once I get mouse power. Uh, I can get up there, can't I? Oh, this is the uh, Mama Goop here. <laughs> Mama Squid. Maybe like a combination between a, a squid, a squirt. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're, her kids are scattered around this area, and that's kind of a problem. <laughs> and you need one of those uh, Mr. Drippy cones, so make sure you kill off the Maggie birds uh, so that you can get yourself a cone back at the main area. Oh, we definitely will. We must. We must for 100%. Oh, this. Can I do this now? No, no, that's right. I need the five tokens in order to get up here. Curses! Curses. It's the water slide of fear. And I no, I don't want to talk to you. I want to get up here. Because I don't think... Yeah, it's a perspective thing. Okay. I just wanted to, wanted to check that just to be sure. Um, over here, there's another token. Might as well grab that right away, of course. Avoiding the Gruntweed because I don't really care all that much. Beware the beehives. You can't really do much over here because of them at the moment. But I, I can grab that coin. Um. Oh, I can do the... I actually can do that, come to think of it. Because I forgot that I got all the moves here now. So that, that switch right there at the Jiggy. That is the thing that I need. And I can't get to that without doing a little... A uh, switch puzzle here, just like the one back at the sandcastle area. So let's go up here, and now I can start this because I have the uh, appropriate power to do this. At least I can do it properly, I should say. And hurry up, get over there with the talent drops. Go, 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 go. I'll talk to you la pff, later, Jinjo Oracle. And oh, you're terribly, terribly in the way. <laughs> Dang it! Well, I guess later is now, because as long as I'm going back, why not? That was bad enemy placement. Well, it, it wasn't bad enemy placement. He just happened to go over that switch. And, yeah, because they can wander around a pretty wide area. They don't, like, stick around a certain spot. Yeah! Ah, I have to restart. Well, that's not that big of a deal since I, you know, I didn't have to worry about doing this from the very beginning, from like the last chance that I had in the... I mean, the last switch that I had to hit in the area. No! Jesus! You again! And you are also terribly in the way, but I managed to get it this time. Okay. Now what you need to do with this is now you're able to kill the powers of bees. You can't do anything about the bees otherwise without that. So now you kill them off, hit this switch, and it will turn that switch in front of that little shanty into a springy switch and go 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 please do not be someone in my way oh god why why <laughs> every time i got to that spot there is an annoying enemy in the way <laughs> all right from the top Let's do it again. <laughs> That's all we can do, but try, try again. And... Go, 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 go! <laughs> Please do not be... Okay, it's clear this time. It's clear. <laughs> and it's, it's pointless to kill the enemies on your way there as well, because... You know, they just respawn so quickly. Although it's pretty handy to kill these bees off because they might get in your way on the way back. But the point of this switch puzzle here is so that you can get in there without taking a hit. You can kind of cheese your way through the bees if you take a hit. And then you just use the invulnerability time. But I wouldn't count on yourself being able to do that each and every time. Anyway, hits that switch. And the Jiggy appears up there! And I completely forgot to go up on that roof, actually, come to think of it. Hurry, 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 go, 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 go! At least there's less enemies in this route. I just need to get to the switch. And not switch the pad. Go up here. And... Yeah! 
made it in time. This pleases me very much. So yeah, this uh, this place apparently was a resort at one time, hence all the uh, tourist attractions, but thanks to Grunty, it's no longer res a resort. Wait, wait, what am I doing up here? I can't, I can't do anything up here right now. Um, just trying to think of what's left to do. I think I should actually start the uh, transformation, starting with the mouse. So yeah, if you don't have a cone, go over to uh, Mr. Drippy here. I forgot where that other kid was. I think... Wait, actually, maybe he's on the boat in the harbor. But I'm not gonna do that just yet until I get my next transformation. Oh wait, I gotta... Yeah, I keep force of habit just killing enemies by rolling into them. Yeah, I'll grab a couple more eggs, why not? I could do the next new transformation right now, but I'm gonna do, for the sake of organization, I'm gonna transform it into a mouse so I can do the stuff um, that I already showed in the areas that I already showed, I mean. Just so you know what I'm talking about. So what I'm first gonna do here is transform into a mouse, of course, and I'm gonna go back up to the area with the shanty. And, uh, yeah, go around. I'm laughing at my own jokes, by the way. That's kind of what I do. <laughs> yeah, uh, aha! Not gonna bother with you guys anymore. By the way, this oil is slippery. In case you couldn't tell that from uh, other things, and your jump is very, very poor. So be careful of that when you're a mouse. But I'm not gonna be a mouse for long. Oh, oh I missed a spot. Let's avoid the whiplashes. And uh, I don't like getting past this one. Eh, eh, eh. Aha! This is kind of hard to judge the distance and whatnot. Okay. This area, I believe, is completely cleared out. Except for the minigame of which I need more coins for. I tried to jump up in that box twice. I am an idiot. <laughs> uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. Um, if you go outside the range of Mumble's magic, that that symbol will show, and you're gonna have to get back in range of it, so be careful of that. Anyway, what I want to do here is go inside the castle, we got ourselves a mouse maze! The Clifftop Castle is indeed a maze of sorts, and I'm going to chew on all these switches. These They're, they're held back by ropes, apparently. I'll kill you off, why not? Oh, it's a dead end. <laughs> So you gotta chew the rope on those switches so that they'll pop back into place and make the bridges over to the the Jinjos and stuff like that. Do not miss this note nest over here, it's kind of well hidden. I missed it on both of my playthroughs here, I noticed on the, uh, the practice. Because it's so well hidden, that's why I'm saying that not to miss it. Well, it's, I guess it's not that well hidden, because you have to just go down that route and you'd be able to see it, but it's just that the germuloids are in your way, and yeah. Um, start going from this side now. This is the exit, right? Yeah, it's the exit. Very well detailed castle, by the way, so I would make a mention of that as well. It's got the, the shells for walls, cola cans as well, as the main structure of the place. Eh. Remember not to miss anything in these areas that you have to go in with a transformation because as I said before it's kind of uh, it's kind of easy to miss stuff like that when you are when you miss like one note or so and then you don't think of retransforming into something to get into them it's just like an afterthought for most and you also notice that there's uh, Lego structures as well well they're more like building blocks but you know, building blocks kind of remind me of Legos. They are really the uh, original. Okay, I think I got everything on the lower route here, so let's go up to the higher route. You'll notice that there is a milk carton here. That's how you get up there. Very nice detailing. And let's go around. Let's look at all the dead ends to make sure I get everything. It's four out of five Jinjos. There's always five per world. Uh, I think this leads to a dead end, yes. Just want to get my way to the Jiggy. Don't fall off, by the way, otherwise you're going to have to start this maze from the start. And, oh, start, beginning, whatever. I was redundant in my speech there. And there we go. I 
think that is it. I didn't see anything else along the way. Unless I simply missed it as I was skimming it with my eyes. Hopefully I didn't miss anything, but now I'm going to go back over to Mumbo. And ow. That's what it does. It knocks stuff out of you if it hits you, those yum-yums. So I'm going to go back to over the Mumbo. And... Uh, transform into the new critter! Yes, please. And you know what I should do? I think I'm going to do that in the next part. Because <laughs> there's still quite a bit more to go in this level, so... I'll put the octopus in its own part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.